Hey guys, sorry I didn't do another video, but I've uh, been staying in Talent, Oregon for about two weeks. This is the place I rented. Uh, it's two fifty a week. It's a place called the Goodnight Motel. It's right outside of Medford and Ashland, where my friend's at. Um, it's not a bad place. So, uh, you know, comes with a kitchenette, refrigerators, you know, a uh, bedroom, you know, and a bathroom. So it's pretty big. But it's two fifty a month. Or 250 a week, I should say. 1000 bucks a month. I'm only paying 500 a month for my house in Japan, so it's kind of uh, expensive. And I'm leaving on the uh, bus at 6.20 in the morning. And that will be... Let's see. That'll be... Like... Uh, three hours from now yeah about three hours from now actually and then uh, I'll end up with uh, uh, eight hour bus ride or eleven hour bus ride I get there at five o'clock at night something like that at uh, San Francisco and then I have to go from San Francisco to um, the airport and then go through all the checkpoints and all the stuff like that and then uh, get on the plane, which, this is what's kind of really cool about flying to Japan from America, is I'm going to get on the plane at 12, uh, 12.45 a.m. on the 15th. It's an 11 hour, 11 hours and 22 minutes. The total flight all the way to Itami Airport in Osaka is actually uh, 13 hours and 22 minutes or something. And what's funny about it is I'm actually flying out at 12.45 a.m. on the 15th, and I'm arriving in Tokyo on the 16th at 5 a.m. So that means it's like, what, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 24, 28, almost 29 hours basically what the flight is but it's not really you know like I say it's only 12 but it's because you're flying across the timelines and whatnot so it's kind of funny so I'm actually losing you know like uh, 15 hours or something like that so it's pretty cool um, yeah and then once I get to Japan I'll uh, probably upload some more stuff I'm probably gonna upload some stuff from the bus ride as well um, I'll, on the way down there maybe I'll get lucky and see Alcatraz or fly over Alcatraz something like that and uh, when I get to Japan, I'll take a flight from Tokyo to um, Itami in o Osaka. And it's about a, an hour and a half flight. But we'll fly over, probably fly right over um, uh, Mount Fuji. So I'll probably do some videos of like flying over Japan and, you know, over Osaka and stuff like that. And then I'll do some really good videos once I get my shop up in Japan and do some videos around my house in Japan so you guys will all be able to see what goes on there <clears throat> and uh, yeah so sorry I didn't do any videos I was gonna do a video of the hotel in in uh, Denver but really wasn't there's no reason to do it and then uh, I was gonna do videos of you know the bus ride and the plane ride and you know I, I ended up sitting in the airport in Denver for 13 hours because I left a uh, I left a wake-up call uh, for 4 a.m. to get up because my my plane left at 7 a.m. 7:30 a.m. and uh, they didn't wake me up and I ended up waking up at about 5:15. I still had to pack up all my stuff. Uh, I wanted to take a shower. Uh, I did really quickly, and uh, I finally got down to the lobby and got the next bus out, which was like at 5:45 or something and they had to stop at two other hotels so I actually ended up getting to the airport at 630 and I was supposed to check in do all my luggage all my baggage and uh, get all through the security checkpoints in an hour so I ended up missing my flight and I had to sit there with my dog in the airport for 13 hours and I got a plane flight at 8 p.m. at night which really sucked so I got into here and uh, stayed at a hotel up in uh, Portland and then the next day I drove a bus, I had a bus, uh, drove, no I didn't drive a bus, I rode a bus, 
from the Greyhound down to uh, Ashland, Oregon, or Medford, Oregon, actually, and then had a friend pick me up from there, and he brought me to this place. So it's pretty cool. And then, like I say, I'll be leaving. So, And I think I'm done with America, pretty much. Pretty much, uh, yeah, I think I'm going back to Japan. If I do leave Japan, it'll probably be to live in uh, either uh, Chiang Mai, um, Thailand, which is where there's a lot of uh, vegans uh, congregating at the moment, a lot of uh, raw till four vegans, or I'll end up in uh, maybe Adelaide or Queensland, Australia, around Freely the Banana Girl or Durian Rider. So, yeah, that's kind of uh, where I'm located at now, and uh, I can't wait. I'm actually really excited to get the hell out of America. I've been here for six years and uh i'm really over it uh with all the all the uh police brutality going on and uh everything uh next election is going to be hillary clinton and uh jeb bush i mean i guess we're trying to have a monarchy over here now <clears throat> you know the police officers uh doing whatever they want killing people at will you know, things like that. We don't have those kind of problems in uh, Japan. So, uh, yeah, I uh, I think I'm pretty much done with America for good. And uh, I plan on going back to Japan and maybe uh, uh, getting a full citizenship and uh, just becoming a Japanese citizen and giving up my American citizenship because I'm, like I say, I'm over it. Uh, this country is going to hell in a handbasket and no one seems to want to do anything about it so you know I tried I was on the I was in the Occupy and had a great movement there that could have really made some progress and it just fizzled out you know so whatever it's life but yeah I'll uh, make some more videos on the road uh, I'll probably upload them in the airport I think in the airport they have uh, internet internet access so I think I can do it in the airport uh, if not then uh, I'll upload a bunch of stuff once I get to Japan once I get to my house I'll do some videos in my house and uh, yeah I'll do some pretty cool stuff then so uh, see you guys later